Hello, wonderful students. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing great. Today, we'll be looking at the topic, part of computer keyboard. Again, we'll be treating part of computer keyboard. And at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to identify the parts of the computer keyboard. Number two, mention the uses of parts of computer keyboard. And number three, identify the similarities between the typewriter and computer keyboard. What is computer? According to A.S. Omotioli in 2017, computer was defined as the electronic device that accepts data automatically, applies sequence of series to the data and supply results. Another school of thought divine computer as an electronic device that accepts data, process the data, and produce useful information. So computer is an electronic device that you input information into it, you input data into it, and it will process that data and give you results at the end of the day. This is example of a computer and the parts of computer that we have we have the monitor the the flat screen which can also be called the monitor the speaker the keyboard and the system unit and this is the mouse and we'll be talking about them one after the other the first one, the part of computer, just like I've mentioned it, is the keyboard, the monitor, system unit, mouse, and, and so on and so forth. Then, the, let's look at the keyboard. Keyboard is usually used to input data. It is an input device which you use in typing in or in keying in data into the electronic device called computer. i take that again. Key keyboard is an input device that is usually used in keying in data into the electronic device called computer. And it can be divided into alphabetical key and the numeric, numerical key. The alphabetical key has to do with the home row key, the top row key, the bottom row key, and the upper row key, which has to do with ASDF and FGHJ, then ZSCB, BNM, QWERT, YUL. Those are the ones we are talking about as the alphabetical keys. It is under the keyboard as well. And the next one is the numeric key. The numeric key is usually located at the right hand side of the, of the keyboard. You can see it is, is kind of, let, let, let's go to the example that I showed you before we come back to this one. These are the part of the numeric key we are talking about at the right hand side of the keyboard. It is arranged there like a form of calculator that has numbers. Then the numeric keys has number lock. Then it has, it, it, it has the numbers which you can use to key in any arithmetical uh, data that you want to key in into the computer. And at the same time, you can use the arrow key under the numeric key, which represents the up, the down, the left, and the right arrow key. Let's move up to the next, to the next key on the, on the keyboard. We have 
the special key where the power is and the the control you use the cursor to control whatever application that you are doing on the computer system the power the sleep mode the calculator my computer and and web they are the special keys that we are talking about another one is control keys control keys are found between the typing keypad and the numeric keypad. It has two groups of keys. It's arranged from the top and bottom. The top includes old insert, then the home page, top, home page, page down, page up, delete, and end key those are the those are the control key you can see them at the right as at the right hand side at the upper side of the numeric keys you see the backspace key which is the delete key you see the the page up key you see the page down key you see the end key there and the home key they are all there they are under control keys. Then there are functional keys. Functional keys are numbers from F1 to F12. They are the keys that you use for special purposes and special tasks. You use them for special purposes and special tasks. Take for an instance, if you click on F1, you are asking the computer for help. You're asking the computer for help. Maybe you don't know what to do again. Then the computer will direct you on what and what to do in the Microsoft Word. Another type of part of computer is monitor. Monitor is an output device used for displaying or showing information on the screen, on the computer. You can as well call it as visual display unit. Visual display unit. Going back to the picture that we, we were shown initially, this is our monitor, which is the output device. It shows the screen of what we are talking about. And without the monitor, you cannot see what you are typing. You can't see it. Then, monitor is very, very important. This is also called visual display unit. Another point is system unit. We call it central processing unit. Whatever you key in through the keyboard, whatever you type in through the keyboard, it is the system unit which is also known as central processing unit that processes it then we call system unit as the brain of the whole computer is the one that that is, is the brain box of the computer because it's the one that that process the 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 information that you key in you can it can be alphabetical it can be arithmetical, it can be numerical. There are so many logical operations and calculations. It does the processes of everything. Then the next one is mouse. Mouse is also an input device that you use to control the movement of the cursor. It is this mouse that is making me to move the Cursor. You can see the cursor I'm moving it. It is the mouse that is making me to be able to move it. It's also an input device that is used to control the movement of the cursor on the screen. And whatever you use mouse to clean, to click on, then it will, that's what is going to operate on. Another subtopic that we're going to treat is the similarities between manual typewriter and the computer. 
Number one, the way the keyboard is being arranged on the manual typewriter and the computer is the same. It's very, very similar in nature. That's number one similarity. That is the arrangement of the keyboard is very, very similar. And number two, the word processing of computer and typewriter are similar as well. Whatever you type in, in computer or whatever you type in in typewriter, the word processing of them, they are similar. Another comparison between the computer and electronic typewriter, they, are both, they both use keyboard as input device. That is another point. They both have memory to store data. For any data that you, are key, that, that you are keying in, there is memory to store them. It might have limits, but they both have memory. And before they can be operated, electricity is needed because the one we are talking about now is the, 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 the comparison between the computer and the electronic typewriter. So they both, you need, they both needed electricity and they both process data. And there is hard copy information from both of them. Whatever you key in is soft copy. And when you send it to printer to print, then it will give you an hard copy of every information that you have typed in. Another subtopic that we're going to look at are the parts that are common in computer and typewriter. The parts that are common in computer and typewriter. Number one, the space bar. The space bar. That is when you place your finger on the home row key, you use your thumb to, to, to press the space bar. Both the computer and the typewriter both has the space bar. The shift key. You don't use shift key alone. You use it in, in, in combination with another key. It's as well in both uh, computer and the typewriter. The cap lock key, whenever the cap lock key is pressed, it shows that everything that you're going to type in will be in capital letter. The both of them have it in common. We have the top row keys, which are the Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P. Then we have the upper row keys, which had the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we have the home row keys, which are A, S, D, F, H, J, K, L, and a column. Then we have the bottom row keys, which are Z, X, C, B, B, N, M, uh, comma, full stop, and slash column. So all these keys, they have they have it in common with the, the uh, between the computer and the typewriter. We have come to the end of today's lesson, but before we go, it is important for us to rem remind ourselves what we have taught. We taught about the computer part of computer keyboards. So we are, we are treating the keyboards, the part of computer. Number one, we have the mini of computer, which is an electronic device that accepts data, processes it, and produces useful information. Then we have the part of computer, which includes the keyboard, the monitor, system unit, mouse, and the speaker. Then we have the keyboard, it's an input device which is used to key in data. And it can be divided into alphabetical keys, the numeric keys, and the special keys. The alphabetical keys are the home row key, top row key, bottom row key, and the upper row key. While the numeric keys are the number keys by the right hand side of the keyboard. And the special keys are the power key, sleep mode, calculator, my computer, and my and web. Then 
we have the control keys. Control keys are the, the keys that you can use to print screen, system request, escape key, page up key, the cursors left, left cursor, right cursor, up cursor, and down cursor, which are also known as the control keys. Then the next one is the functional keys. The functional keys are the keys from number one to 12, and the F1 serve as the help function. Another part of the computer is the monitor, which is also known as visual display units. When whatever you key in, it will be shown on the monitor. The system unit is the brain box of the computer that processes whatever you are keying in as a data to the computer. It processes and gives you a logical conclusion. Then the mouse is an input device that controls the movement of the cursor on the screen. Just like I'm doing, this is the work of a mouse. The similarities between the manual typewriter and computer. The manual typewriter don't use electricity. Number one, arrangement of keyboards are similar, both in the computer and the typewriter. Number two, the word processing of the computer and typewriter, they are the same. And we look at the comparison between the computer and the electronic typewriter. They are both, they, they are both, uh, they both use keyboard as input device. They both have memory to store data. And before they, there must be electricity. Then both of them process data and there is hard copy information at the end of the day. The parts that are common in computer and typewriter, they have the space bar that you use your two thumbs to press whenever you are keying in any, any alphabetical or numeric keys. Then we have the shift keys, we have the cap lock keys. When you press the cap, cap lock, everything you type will be in capital letter. We have the top row keys, the upper row keys, and the home row keys with the bottom row keys. We have come to the end of today's lesson. The assignment is on the website when the, where the note has been uploaded, copy it and or you download it so that you can do the assignment. So we meet in the next class, just stay blessed, stay safe and make sure that you